If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I am an award-winning scientist, award-winning lecturer, teacher and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. If you need financial advice, you should see someone who is licensed. I do not have any financial qualifications. These videos are totally educational purposes, totally entertainment purposes. This chicken shit is away. Let's discuss topic of the day, Atom. So what is Cosmos? Cosmos is a proof of stake cryptocurrency based upon the tender mint mechanism. It's an internet of blockchains. Going forward in future, I think almost every big company will need its own blockchain and one project that is an absolutely miles ahead of every competition which can provide these services through the SDK or software development kit is Cosmos. The native token of the Cosmos blockchain is called Atom. There are quite exciting updates coming to Atom. There is Atom 2.0. Just like you had ETH 2.0, you're gonna have Atom 2.0 with revised tokenomics. There's not massive amount of tokens. The maximum tokens in circulation is only 260 million. There is also a concept called interchain security. Again, beyond the scope of today's video, if you want to learn more about all these fancy terms that I've just used, you can follow the main YouTubers from the Cosmos ecosystem. I would say number one is in no particular order, but I think number one is Cryptocito. I also listen to Confident in Crypto. There is Crypto Conscious and also Unapologetic Rabble. So if you want to learn more details about various Cosmos projects, I would encourage you to check out their channels. I am not a Cosmos expert. I'm here to make some money. I'm here to make some educational content. And that's what I'm going to do today. The price action of Cosmos actually is not that bad as compared to other altcoins. And we're going to compare that layer in the video against Bitcoin. However, it is quite a way down from its all time highs and it's a solid blockchain. Investing now, for me at least, is a sure shot 4x, 5x when the next bull run starts and it can go much much higher with the revised tokenomics as i said there is very specific supply there is only 260 million odd tokens and out of which 203 million are actually in circulation which is really really good the way you can earn some more atom is by staking on kepler wallet and i have made a tutorial video previously which i will leave a link in the discussion i made that video in context of fmos evm compatible chain which is building on the cosmos ecosystem from the point of where i made that video to now we have made massive gains so go check that video out currently atom is sitting at 10.9 but this is actually not fair value of atom because this doesn't include the value accrual because of people who have been getting airdrops because they were staking Atom. So the best way to do that is something called Atom Tree Value. So basically if you are let's say staking 100 Atom, how much airdrops did you receive in Osmo which is the decentralized exchange and then how much airdrops you received in Juno which is the smart contract platform on Cosmos and then there is multiple other projects that also gave airdrops because you were staking Atom, because you were staking Osmo, because you were staking Juno. So if you add all of that together, then it is something called a tree value. It's the same thing as you plant a seed, the tree grows, you keep adding to the staking pool and you keep getting higher amount of airdrops. Of course, there is a veil cap. So this is just taken from the Twitter account of the this, this project. The, the tree value according to this today is actually $150 if you take into account all of the previous airdrops this value obviously has changed because this was quite an old tweet however again you can see what is the actual tree value of osmosis what is the actual tree value of juno again more and more projects are building there is multiple decentralized finance uh, which is coming there is moon blockchain that is coming that will be a remittal blockchain there is a diffusion finance many nft projects are building on uh, FMOS, for example, that will airdrop to Atom stakers. So I would say, I would encourage you to get educated on the Atom and Cosmos ecosystem. Guys, let's just have a quick look at Atom price action. As the title of the thumbnail says, Atom Haikinashi candles. So I'm not gonna show you the formula here, but simply, if you use Haikinashi candles, uptrends are characterized by these long candle bodies and upper wicks and no lower wicks or minimal 
lower wicks. Again, there is uptrend here. Downtrends are characterized by big candle bodies, large lower wicks, no upper wicks or very minimal upper wicks. So this is a lagging indicator, folks. So obviously the previous data has been crunched, but it still tends to give you an idea about when trend reversal happens. Now, this is a very, so this is only four hourly and you might say, okay, you are just showing me a small snapshot. Let's go back. Again, you can see uptrends are characterized by large candle bodies, big upper wicks and minimal or no lower wicks. Here's another one, large candle bodies, large upper wicks and no or minimal lower wicks. And it is a pretty good lagging indicator and kind of works all the time. So why I am showing you this data? The reason I'm showing this data is because there's always a price to be paid to confirm a trend. Guys, this is pretty easy to do. All I have done on TradingView is just click Hack and Ashy Candles and you can actually go for four hourly or you can also go for weekly, which is my favorite. Based upon these candles, I have drawn my worst case scenarios. So my first uh, downtrend is $9.5. The next one is 8.7. And the point at which I will again buy is $7.390. You can also switch to one day on these candles or you can switch to five days or you can look at the yearly. The last thing I want to discuss today is how Atom is performing in context of Bitcoin. The rule usually is that when Bitcoin pumps, altcoins pump even more. And when Bitcoin dumps, altcoins dump even more. Now, this bull run, this has not been the case for Atom. As you can see, it has maintained a constant uptrend as compared to Bitcoin. Again, guys, this is, these are Hacken Ashi candles. You can do it with multiple other ways. But for today's video, this is exactly what I'm going to do. And as you can see, actually, Atom has performed exceptionally well in this bull run against Bitcoin. Part of the reasoning is this bull run was actually disrupted or ended not by retail fear, but it was actually institutional gambling. So there was three arrows capital, there was Celsius, there was Voyager. And then on top, you had the Ukraine war, China uh, economy about to tank. So this is a very, very different bear market as compared to previous bear markets because retail left pretty early. Retail left when Bitcoin was around 35, 40K. The, the next downtrend was actually characterized by the institutional gambling, institutional greed. They were forced to liquidate their major positions. They didn't have institutions, didn't have big positions in altcoins. Institutions had big positions in Bitcoin and Ethereum. And those were the assets that were sold off. I do have a little bit concerned. As you can see on this Hike and Ashi candles, you can start to see these red candles appear. Again, I'm watching like a hawk. I think with the recent Fed statement, also the inflation, for example, in the UK, electricity bills have doubled. Inflation, uh, they claim it is 10%. But if you really use the 2008 criteria, the inflation figures are actually 25 to 30 percent is just because they change what they put into the basket every year so that it doesn't look as bad but it's actually i'm from the uk i'm telling you it's pretty bad now if my major spare cash is going to pay electricity bill is going to pay for my food is going to pay for my family i will not have spare cash to invest as a result i think it's a good idea to sit in the cash position it's a good idea to keep observing but atom for me is a really strong cryptocurrency it should be on your radar now those are my thoughts uh, uh, about Atom. Now you tell me, do you have Atom in your portfolio? Are you staking? Are you keeping for long term? Are you trading Atom for short term? All comments are welcome. As you know, I'm only a weekend YouTuber. YouTube algorithm doesn't like me. So smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video.